Ghost Fit Team. Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, Lady B. So, guys, today I want to be sharing with you another Obonga recipe. I will be sharing with you how I prepare or how to prepare Nigerian meat pie. So, guys, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, what are you waiting for? Subscribe, share my video, and keep on liking my video. May God keep on blessing you guys. So, let's see the ingredient that we'll be using. I have one teaspoon of salt. One teaspoon of baking powder, one spoon of sugar. I have three pack of butter, four pieces of egg, and octopus flour. So these are all the ingredients that I need for this recipe. First, I will be mixing the dry ingredient. I will add in the salt, the baking powder, and the sugar. So I have to step everything together. So I have to give this a nice mix. So after mixing it, I will be adding my butter. So I have to mix up the butter about five to six minutes until everything gets combined. So you can see that so i have to let everything get combined so i have to pour it inside a large bowl and give it a nice mix you can see that So after mixing the dough, so I have to mix my egg, so I will be adding the egg. You can see I did not add any milk, I did not add any water, so only this egg is enough. So when you add your water or your milk, so it will make it to be soft, though you don't need that. So this egg is enough. So I'll be using this egg to mix it. On stirring it. You see that? So this don't need milk to add or water. This is enough. You can see how strong it is. So this is how it's supposed to be. So I will not add any water. I will not add any milk, so I just mix it like this until everything gets combined. So after mixing it, I have to use my uh, plastic wrap to cover it. So I have to keep this in fridge so you can still keep it normal place. So I just keep this in fridge for 30 minutes. For the sauce, I will be needing potato. So I have to clean up the potato and give it a nice wash. After pinning, so I have to slice it. I'll be slicing it in four corner parts. You see the side that I slice it, so I have to keep this outside. In this pan, I have a cup of oil, so I will season with salt. Add in my slicing onions to fry for one minute. So after stirring it, I will be adding my hot pepper and stir everything together. 
so I will add in the beef so I've already washed the beef with clean water so I will add it inside and let this to cook for 10 minutes so I have to stir everything together and give it a nice cook so I will season it with rosemary mango cube so you can season with anything so this is what I'll be using to season mine so I have to stir everything together so after some minutes I have to add in the potato I will be adding one cup of water and let this to cook for 10 minutes so here is my pan I will be rubbing it with butter you can see how I'm rubbing it so I will use this butter to rub all over the body so it's very very good to use butter to rub your pan instead of oil so after 30 minutes the dough is ready so I will be using my roller to wind it up you can see that So here is my stainless plate. This plate is what I will be using to cut the dough. You can see that. So it's very very simple to use this one if you don't have the normal cutter. So this is what I will be using. You see that? I will add one spoon of sauce. So here I have egg. So this is my missing egg. So I will use this egg to rub it before I close it. You can see, just put it the edge. So I have to cover it. You can see that. So with the help of the egg, it will allow you to cover it fast and smooth. You can see that. So I will be using my fake. To give it the normal line you see it you see that so I will continue this process So I'm done covering it, so I'll be using my fake to give it the red line, you can see that. I'll be using the remaining egg to rub the body, you can see that. So I'll be using the egg to rub it, this will give it golden brown color. So that is why I'm using egg. You can as well use oil, you can as well use butter. So some people use milk. So it's what you want to use at the time. So I will keep this in the oven for 30 minutes. After 30 minutes, the recipe is ready. You can see the meat pie. You can see the golden color. You can see that. So this is half of the egg that I used to rub it. So that is why I use this egg to rub it because I want to see this color. So thank you guys for watching. This is all about this recipe. So if you find help in this recipe, please don't forget to share with your friends. Like and drop your comment how you feel about this recipe. See you guys in my next video. Bye.